everybody. So here's the moment I've been waiting for for years in my life many years and that is a moment where i'm going to discover my dna results um i don't know what to say you guys this is the moment i remember talking to my mom being like mom do you know we're like 70 to 80 percent african or more and we don't even know our um our original language uh, because it was lost uh, during the slave trade of course and all of that this moment is a little bittersweet. Um, so I saw I didn't see my results, but I went into the app and I like looked through and I saw like um, something that said close cut co close cousin or close family or something. And it said we shared 24 percent. I was like, who is this? And I was like, is that my sister on my dad's side? Or who is that? So I sent that that um, I sent her a message and it was my sister. And she basically went off on me and was like, why are you using Bradley name? You don't even claim us. You don't have nothing to do with us. And you might as well get off of here trying to use our name when you don't have nothing to do with us. And we don't want nothing to do with your white Jesus, she told me. And I was like, first of all, that was really mean and rude. And I don't care what you say about me. I've been rejected my whole life by everyone. So I don't care if you don't accept me. But my dad signed my birth certificate. Um, my mother raised and supported me with God being the sole provider. My mother worked and he blessed us. He took care of every need. My dad did not pay child support. So my dad didn't take care of me like he took care of her and my other two younger siblings in Atlanta. Um, uh, he took care of her. He did for her. He didn't do that for me. My mama did for me. He didn't. I didn't get not one birthday card, not any of that. But she's on there bashing me for using his name. At the end of the day, I'm still a Bradley. Whether y'all like me or accept me or not, I'm still your family. But at the end of the day, people are divided because of, of who they believe in and what they stand for. I told her I stand for holiness. I said, I do love you. Um, but I don't agree with your lifestyle. She was posting things on um, Facebook. She married another woman. It's it's one thing to be gay it's another thing to be blasphemous she had a picture of her and her her i'm gonna say partner because i don't believe in saying marriage and they was pretending to be mary and joseph holding baby jesus and you're a gay couple that's blasphemous that's sin that's mockery of the word of god and everything holy because being gay is not holy or pure it's against god it's an abomination just like a liar just like anyone that does not believe in god who serves another god is an abomination hands that run swiftly to evil liars uh, the Bible talks about the abomination. It says six things have I do I hate, seven are abominations. So, I mean, she basically went off on me and told me I had no right to use that name. But at the end of the day, my dad, who is not in my life, I don't know him as daddy, he did sign the birth certificate. So I can use the Bradley name because I'm still a Bradley. Whether you like it or not, the blood is in my veins. That's still a part of who I am, whether y'all accept me or not. Or she accepts me. She's mad at me because I'm Christian, because I'm Pentecostal, because I have strict standards, because I stand on holiness. It is what it is. I'm still a Bradley, though. And I have that right to use that name, whether y'all accept me or not. He did not raise me. He did not do for me. He did, he did for who he wanted to. He did for Corinth and all those other. He didn't do for me um but if i want to use that name i can because i'm still a bradley so i don't appreciate my sister going off for me i thought that was very mean i didn't want to cut her off i love her i needed somebody in my life i had to because of what she stood for and what i stand for they contradict each other darkness and light can't have any fellowship um i had to cut her off and she went off on me and that's just another part of me being rejected and hated by a lot of people and it hurts when you have rejection on both sides, I mean, my story is deep. I might as well write a movie starting with my mom's life. That stuff hurts to tell me why are you using our name? You don't want nothing to do with us. I didn't even grow up with y'all. I don't know y'all, but I love y'all. I have an uncle on here that still says nice, encouraging things to me. Um, I'm sorry, uncle. I forgot your name, but <laughs> that sounds so tacky. But um, you're the one that always shows me love and everything. Uh, Uncle Anthony, I believe. You always show me love and I appreciate it. Um, Uncle Curtis is on here. I don't know them. I remember when I was younger, I used to go over. I went over Uncle Anthony's house and I played with my cousins at that age. But I moved to Dallas, so I didn't grow up with them. Um, and uh, I am saved. I'm conservative. I'm Pentecostal. It is what it is. But she basically went off on me and was like, you don't have the right to use our name. You don't have anything to do with us. Y'all don't have nothing to do with me either. 
So like I said, certain ones on here, they be kind. But if it's that, you could have tried to reach out to me too. I come to the family reunion. That was my first time meeting that side of my family. That was a blessing. But it really hurt for her to tell me that I can't use the Bradley name. When at the end of the day, I'm still a Bradley. Whether you like it or not. Pentecostal, strict and conservative, lifestyle, disagreeing with y'all lifestyle. Y'all think I'm judgmental or not? Guess what? I'm still a Bradley. Hello, thank you. And I will continue to use the name when I want to because I can because it's still my DNA. He's still my dad, whether he raised me or not. I still got some of his crazy ways, whether I want him or not. So at the end of the day, we still family. We may not agree, but we still family. So just get it through your thick head. Now, anyway, I'd like to go ahead and share my DNA results. <laughs> okay, so here we go. It says explore your DNA results. Okay, it says bring them on camera. She's not on my Facebook. I took her off my Facebook four years ago. So when I went into my ancestry thing this time, I didn't go to DNA. I didn't go to my story yet because I want to save that for the live. So I'm going to send it to YouTube and all that. But I went to family that had the same DNA. And I was like, well, who is this? I didn't know if that was her or not. And she went off on me. But she's not on here. I had to take her off because she was doing mockery things, blasphemous things with her lover on here that were contradicting the word of God, being posing as Mary and Joseph holding baby Jesus, but they're a gay couple. That's blasphemy. I had to take her off. Um, so it is what it is. But to tell me I can't use my father's name, he didn't raise me. God is my father, but he's still my dad. I still share his, I'm still his child. That was insulting. I mean, rejection on every hand. A rejection on every hand. So yeah, I can get a little bitter. How much more rejection? I grew up being rejected in Dallas. I wasn't hood enough. I wasn't black enough. Why she walk like that? Why she talk like that? Then family hurt you and reject you. So yeah, I'm bitter. Then turn around and slap me in my face and my own sister tell me why you using our name? You don't have nothing to do with us and all this. I don't agree with everybody's lifestyle. That don't mean I hate people. Just because I speak on holiness and, say, and call sin wrong does not mean I hate people i'm not going to sugarcoat i don't agree with it now that really hurt my feelings it really did darn it i need love that hurt my feelings darn it but i don't agree with it i'm not gonna play with god i don't agree with it so when somebody's doing anything to mock my god i'm not i'm gonna cut you off and tell my white jesus who cares what color jesus was he died for our sins obviously he's jewish duh but who cares what color he is? God made white people, black people. We all the same. We come in different shades. This black pride thing, let it go. Hating white people because of slavery, this and that. Let it go. God is love. Let it go. God is love. Period. Forgive. Forgive. And then she was talking about white Jesus. It doesn't matter what color Jesus is. Jesus can be white, blue, whatever. He's Jewish. It doesn't matter. He died for our sins. God is the ultimate and the epitome of love. He created all of us. Our colors come from him. And she has green eyes like her mom. She has beautiful eyes. Where do you think those eyes come from? Now, I know there are well, people with black that are have that have those eyes. Yes, but most of the time and your light skin, you got that from European, your European blood. But you hate white people and you got all that white blood in you. That's where you got those eyes from and that light skin from. So chill out on hating your own self because although you're black, that's where you got your, your, your green, colorful, beautiful eyes from white people. You're the European in your family and your mom and your light skin. So let's just be honest. And I know there are Africans and Caribbeans, but Caribbeans are still mixed at the end of the day. And I'm just keeping it real. So here we go. Uh, I'm sorry. Y'all see how much hurt, how much drama, how much trauma, how much rejection. Oh, my goodness. But do you see this? Okay, well, nobody's on to show the outfit. Brother Omar is on. But, okay, I'll wait till somebody else gets on. So you see my DNA matches. I got some family here showing up. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I got my DNA results. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I see right off the bat. Um, So I would like to be French. Uh, I would like to have some... Well, I would love to be some have some Jewish in there. I would like to have some um, Scotland and some British in there. Would love to have some uh, some uh, maybe a little bit of Spanish, maybe some Cuban. Would love to be Caribbean. Love to have a little Ethiopian. And uh, I'm missing one, y'all. I'm missing one. Um, I said Scotland, French, British. I would love to have some Native American. I would love to be Caribbean. So here's my DNA results. How black am I? I'm looking at my results right now. 
gosh, y'all, I'm like, I'm just like all black. What fun is that? Look at my DNA results. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Your DNA looks most like DNA from these 11. So here we go. Nigeria. I knew I was Nigerian. 42% Nigerian. Niger, 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 Niger. Mali. 18%. I'm not I'm like I'm like 100%. Uh Cameroon, Congo and Western Bantu peoples. 15%. Um Benin and Togo. Wow. I'm like I'm like 100% African. Ben Okay, Benin and Togo 7%. Senegal 6%. Wales 5%. I'm like all African, y'all. Like I have like no, I have like a little bit of white in me. Ivory Coast and Ghana, 2%. I'm almost like pure. Hold on. England and Northwestern Europe, 2%. Oh my gosh. Indigenous East, I'm sorry, Nigeria, East Central, whatever that means, 1%. Indigenous America, yeah! It came through, it's 1%, but it came through, boy, yeah! I represent them black natives on that mud, yeah, I'm, I'm claiming that. You Indigenous America on my thing, yeah, all black people don't be getting that, but that mud showed up. It's ain't 1%, but it's on. Boy, when I got some Scotland, boy, 1% come through. When I say I am obsessed with natural redheads on white people, when they have that beautiful red, orange hair, I am obsessed with it. Why? Because your girl is Scottish, boo. 1% come through. Dude, I'm Native American and Scottish boy. Wales, five percent. Okay, you girl got a little white in there. I got a little drizzle. What else? That's it. Hold on, let me see. That's it. Oh my gosh. Whew. Okay, so I am. I'm gonna read my results again. Nigerian, forty-two percent. Mali, eighteen percent. Cameroon, fifteen percent. Benin and Togo, 7%. Senegal, 6%. Wales, 5%. Ivory Coast and Ghana, 2%. England and Northwestern Europe, 2%. Nigeria, East Central, 1%. And then Indigenous American, my Native American. Thank you, Jesus, because I've always loved Native Americans and I love the Black Native thing. And even to have 1% tells me that my ancestors were still Native. Yes, and um, Scotland, 1%. I told you I wanted some Scotland. Oh, man, you can't tell me nothing, bro. Oh, man, I'm mixed. No, I'm, I'm totally black. But let's cut up. Let's. I knew I was Nigerian. I knew I was Nigerian. And then Mali, I'm going to definitely look that up and say I'm 18% uh, Mali, 15% Cameroon. So I'm black, of course. But that's so dope to know exactly what I am. So uh, the most African uh, region uh tribe i have in me if that's the right word uh is nigeria which i knew i knew i was nigerian i would be talking to nigerian and i'd be like i'm nigerian niger niger like i was repping nigeria i knew i was nigerian because most most of us are in america but anyway 42 percent niger okay so okay so i'm a, i'm going to add up all of the things that are african and all the percentages that are not so i can t look at my dna oh my gosh <laughs> I'm excited. You can't tell me nothing, bro. I'm Native American, bro. Y'all might say 1% don't count. Oh, but it does. It's there. They don't be finding a trace sometimes, but they found, I knew it, man. I knew, I didn't, I was hoping, I was hoping so bad I wanted Native American. It came through. So we're going to add it up. So 42% Nigeria, 18% Mali, 15%. I'm like almost pure um that's 13 13 i don't know what nigeria east central means though at all okay and that's one i'm one percent nigeria east central what i don't know what that means at all okay so we're gonna add all that up let's see Okay, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So this is going to tell us how black I am. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. What the heck, y'all? I am almost pure African. I am 91% African. 
91% African. I'm going to show y'all my results. And I am 5% Wales and 2% European, uh, England and Northwestern European, 1% Native American, and 1% Scotland. That's crazy. I'm only like, I'm 9% other. Oh my gosh, I'm almost a pure African. I'm a lot of black. I'm darn near pure. I only have 9% other in me. Wow, I am almost pure African. I knew I was a lot of black. I knew it. When I was younger, I used to think I, there could possibly be something in me because when I perm, my hair would be pretty. And um, I was just a pretty black young girl. My mom's like, no, you're just a pretty black girl. And she's right. I'm 91% black. But I think my mama probably would have been about 75 to probably 80% black. Um, so I'm almost pure, but that is so cool. I have Wales, um, Scotland, a little bit. I got that Native American still came through. And uh, I don't know what Nigeria East Central is, but that's still just black. So I'm 91% African and 9% other. But did y'all notice I got that 1% Native American and I got that uh, 1% Scott. I told y'all I want some Native Americans from Scotland. And of course, we got some English. I ain't getting no British, though. I wanted some British now. I wanted some British. I didn't get Ireland, but I got Scotland. I have an obsession with red hair. It's because I'm Scottish. Oh, my gosh. Y'all, so about that 1% don't count. It do. So that's my results. I'm going to show everybody my results. This is my results, y'all. Um, <laughs> see if I can see, see the Scotland 1%. Ind Indigenous America North 1%. Nigeria East Central 1%. England 2%. Ivory Coast and Ghana 2%. Wales 5%. Senegal 6%. Benin and Togo 7%. And then let's kind of go up here. Cameroon 15%. Mali 18%. And Nigeria 42%. Those are my results. Nija, Nija, Nija. That's my results, y'all. I am almost pure African. I'm 91% African and I am 9% other. Your girl is hecka black. Beautiful black queen in the house. Uh, but beauty is vain. Beauty belongs to God. But hey, I'm here. I'm definitely not mixed. I'm definitely African. Nija and Molly and a mixture of everything else. But I got some European. I got some Native American. It's a little bit, but it's there. I got a little drizzle. God bless y'all. I encourage y'all that if y'all haven't, take your DNA results. It's fun to experience your story and to know just what ethnic group you belong to, especially as a black person, because it was lost. I figured I was Nigerian. I was right. So to look at this and know is so cool. So cool. And I believe this one is more accurate because... 23 and me got that whole uh neanderthal or whatever and that's not it we don't come from monkeys so i didn't trust that i was like well we don't even come from monkeys so i said i'm gonna go with ancestry that's it i ain't taking no more that's good enough for me i'm excited i got my dna results i'm happy with it i'm a nigerian queen i'm native american i'm scottish um what else did it say native american and scottish baby that's the two i wanted and i just didn't get no british but y'all that's exciting even though it's one percent it's there but i'm darn near pure african i am 91 percent african 91 percent african i'm blacker than all of y'all i'm darn near pure wow that's amazing i am that black that is amazing Wow. Well, I got some research to do. I'm going to research Mali and then Nigeria East Central. Wow. Wow. So I'm 5% Wales. That's so interesting. One of the apostolic movements started in Wales. So that's it's in my blood. Okay. And those are our Caucasian brothers and sisters in the apostolic movement that started the apostolic movement. It started in Wales. Uh, it's like the Wales, Scotland area, something like that. And I know my, yeah, yeah, it's in there, baby. We in that thing. We in that thing. Mix it with that African. Mix it up. Boy, you see that ind indigenous American. Y'all can't tell me I'm not black and native. Look at that. Look at it. Y'all ain't gonna tell me I'm not native. That thing say it don't even show up on some people. It's one percent. It can say one percent all it wants to, but it's in my blood. My great 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 great
it's in there all right y'all i'm excited i'm an african princess i'm darn near pure it was exciting i encourage y'all to check out your story check out your dna to if you don't know already it's exciting especially for us black people that really just don't know what we're made of it's exciting take it and some people are going to be way more mixed than i am like they're going to be like 75 80 percent black and have a little bit more and it's just so interesting whether you're pure or not whatever you have it's just interesting to find out what you have and to love all of you not just one ethnic group but all of you because god is love and we're all the same we come in different colors but your girl it's 91% black. I'm black and I'm black and I'm black and uh, and I'm black and black and black and black and, uh, and I'm Native American in Scotland and Wales. Boy, you can't tell me nothing, boy, but the Caribbean ain't on there. They must be missing something. So if I find something, I'll come back and share because I'm sure I'm Caribbean. They just missing it. I, I don't. Yeah, it's a uh, Trinidad, Tobago. Yeah. Yeah, I must have just missed it. Bye. God bless. I'm done.